please. Uh, it's, I'm sure that it's a magical experience and Steve Jobs planned it all along. It's a feature. Um, anyway, yes. So, yeah, my name's Henry. That's me. I'm not affiliated with Skype in any way. I'm just a dude. Um, I have been working on getting Skype calls to work on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's something that me and a few other people have thought would be like a useful thing for it to do. It's cheap. Uh, it'll, it'll go anywhere. It would be you know, a good thing to be able to do on a device. However, Skype don't make a client available for the Pi. They do make one for Linux, but it's pre-compiled for, uh, for x86. So there's a bit of a roadblock there. There's no direct way to do it. However, they do make available a runtime called Skype Kit, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. Skype Kit does run on the ARM chip in the Pi. Um, it's available to developers um, and use, it's kind of like a black box. So it provides you with calling functionality and contacts and chat and stuff like that without providing an interface, essentially. It's your job to provide the interface and then Skype Kit does all the calling and stuff for you. Um, so that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, so what is Skype Kit? As I said, it's a binary runtime, which means you can't futz around with it. It's like a black box. You can just sort of prod it and say, make a call now, connect to the audio hardware now, stuff like that. It's developer stuff, basically. It's a black box. Uh, it's available for the ARM, and yeah, there's no GUI. Um, how do you get it? If you're interested, if you're a developer, if you want to fiddle around with this stuff, uh, you can get onto the Skype developer program there. You have to pay about five bucks to sign up or something, because, you know. Uh, it's, it is because it's, because it's Microsoft, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so join up as a developer, download the embedded SDK. I'm sco scooting through this because I'm aware that this will be meaningless to a bunch of people, so I'm trying to skip through stuff to the interesting bit. Uh, download, yeah. More details are there. I've been updating the wiki, the Raspberry Pi wiki, with this stuff as I go along because I'm basically working this out as I go. Um, so, yes. Here is the anatomy of a Skype kit application. Um, Skype kit is a bit that's provided to us by Skype. Uh, when it's running on a device, it wants audio, it wants video, and it wants instructions to say, you know, connect to another user. Um, here is some sound that I want to be pushing at the user on the other end, um, which are these parts. So Skype kit is, your, is, is provided by, by Skype, Microsoft. Um, it's a black box, you can't do anything with it. These are the bits that you write yourself to communicate with Skype Kit. And then calls go out of Skype Kit onto the interwebs to, and to the receiving end. Now, I have only been fiddling around so far with the voice host stuff. Um, I am basically really scared about encoding video. <laughs> it sounds really hard. Um, so I've just been concentrating on doing voice calls. So this is the bit that I'm going to be talking about. Continuing, um, video calls should be possible in the future, but I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. Um, so, yeah, I discussed voice host, video host, and GUI. This is Skype's terminology, and these are, these are basically extra blocks that you add. Um, now, I'm not a hardcore developer by any stretch. I am, what I am good at is uh, taking stuff that people have already made and tweaking it to my own foul ends. Um, luckily, uh, Skype make available a whole bunch of example code uh, with the SDK when you download it. And some of the example code that they provide allows you to create these uh, voice and video hosts sort of very generic versions. So you can connect it to audio hardware on, for instance, the Raspberry Pi. Um, so I'm going to skip over that bit. Um, Voice, so the, what, so the bit that I've been fiddling with is voice PCM host RT audio. Now this, again, is going to sound fairly meanless, but what it basically means is there is example code provided in the Skype SDK, which once you've compiled it, which I will not go into now, but you can ask me later if you want to know about that stuff or look at the wiki, uh, you will be able to connect a, an instance of Skype kit that is running on the Pi to the audio hardware on the Pi, basically just by compiling what Skype give you. Um, I'll skip over that bit. So 
what I'm going to try to do is do a demonstration of making a, an audio uh, Skype call to the Pi that is sat here. Uh, there's a little speaker plugged in. Uh, this is the username that I'll be signing in as. So if anyone has a laptop and has Skype on it and wants to give us a try... <laughs> um, have, you got, have you got a Skype client there? Right, so... Um, the ice cream sandwich, which version? Uh, jelly bean. Oh, yeah. Ooh, good luck. <laughs> Okay, so basically make a mental note of this, uh, this Skype name. It will come in useful in a minute. Um, this is a SSH session which I opened up to my Pi earlier because I didn't want to, you know... <laughs> oh, look, I'm ssh you. Um, but what I'm going to do is these are the Python examples that Skype provides you with. And one of the examples... It's called auto answer. Now, in theory, if I've done this right, uh, P R H N S L dot Henry. Um, if I start up the auto answer example, Right, now this is now logging into Skype and it's preparing itself to accept incoming connections. This is just debug stuff. So, who has a Skype client? Right, so there you go. If you don't bother adding a contact, but if you just, if you call. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, you can actually hear my voice echoing out back over on the internet, coming out and speak over there. This is a Skype call. And that's it. If you want to know any more detail, um, come and ask me later. <laughs>